Hi guys, thanks for joining me on Box Love. I'm Maria. Today I'm opening up Allure Beauty Box. Now this, I'm not sure. I've been holding on to this for a while. This might actually be September's. I'm not sure. Um, it was up in kind of towards the bottom of my pile. So Allure is, what is it, $15 a month. And you're supposed to be guaranteed a $50 to $90 value each month in your box. And you get full and travel size products. There we go. Best of Beauty Award winner. And so this always comes with a nice um, little pamphlet here of everything you're getting and the information. I like that. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Let's start with MAC. Luster Lipstick. And this looks mm. to be in a bright red in lustering. Um, here it is. It's a lipstick. It's pretty. Um, however, I don't really wear lipsticks. So I probably will be passing this along or putting it in a giveaway. So, if any of you are interested, let me know. It would say retail price is eighteen fifty for that. So lustering the shade is a glossy watermelon pink. When it won its best beauty award, um, we deemed it not an all or nothing bright. You can do one swipe for a sheer pink stain, or keep layering to dial up to a bolder fuchsia. Okay. The next is a Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial Facial. Okay, so let's see what this is. This retails, wow, it's expensive. For full size, if you got the full size, it would retail for $80. It would be fair to assume that TLC stands for Tender Love and Care. This creamy fragrance free peel has earned its um, cult status for being as gentle as it is effective. So it's a skin brightening, pore tightening. All right, so it's a peel. I've never tried one of these. I'm not sure. It says use once weekly, apply an even layer to clean dry skin, leave on for 20 minutes, then rinse thoroughly and pat dry, bottle follow immediately with marula oil for best results. Slight tingling may be experienced. So let me know if you guys have tried this and if you recommend it or not, especially for sensitive skin. Okay, then we have Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. IGK. So, okay, it's for your hair and it retails for $29. Want your hair to feel entitled? Spoil it with a dollop or two of the Silky Cream Gel Hybrid. It infuses straight hair with PC texture, enhances God given waves and curls, and smells fancy. Okay, so there's that. This is something I've never received before and have never used. So this is from Tarte, and these are cruelty, here's your falsies, um, cruelty-free eyelashes. They look pretty. 
as far as eyelashes go, they look like my little boys. He is the most incredible eyelashes ever. Why does the boy get the best lashes? And my little middle child, she has amazing eyes, huge eyes with big old eyelashes. And she knows how to use them too. Um, okay, so Tardis Pro Lashes are crafted with cruelty-free synthetic blend that's soft and light weight. So you can trim lashes as desi desired, apply a small amount of, of adhesive along the base of the false lashes, and then, bless you, and then position and gently press the lashes just above your natural uh, lash line. Oops. So there you go, there's those. I'm not really interested in that, but they retail for $12. Okay, then last thing in the box is, again from Tarte, is this the maybe adhesive? Yes, so that's nice. So they included the lash adhesive to go with, which is great, I think, for someone like me who doesn't have it, um, to have the whole package. So let me read about that. Okay, so it says this retails the glue for nine dollars, and it's just a little. A lot of lash glue comes in little squeezy tubes that can leave you dealing with too much. So this comes with a slim brush. So here you go. It comes with a brush like that. It's pretty nice know nothing about this stuff um, so this will probably be in a giveaway or I will pass it along okay guys so that is everything from my box and honestly I'm not thrilled with it I have been thrilled with my alert in the past but the only thing I'm super that I might actually even use um, is this if it's not too um, too much for my skin. Otherwise, everything else I have no need for, and I will just be gifting it, right? So, tell me what you guys thought of your allure box. Do you like it? Is it a keeper? Um, I'm kind of at the point of reevaluating my boxes. What do I want to keep? What do I want to get rid of? What things do I want to replace? So let me know your guys' thoughts and preferences on allure. All right, cheerio! Hey guys, I'm back quick. So after further review of my Allure beauty box and products and checking them all out, the value is amazing. I mean, like, this drunk elephant, I checked out the size, and you can, like, people are, like, buying it for, like, $30. And, um... The MAC lipstick is quite expensive, so even though I'm not using all this stuff, the value of it is impressive, so I will say that. Okay, guys, thank you. See you later.